Welcome back to Vampire. We just left the sewers after trying to first see what the nurse Dorothy Crane was up to, and then we tracked the gang member that they were meeting with into the sewers. Now we just left the sewers, and we're about to head to Whitechapel. Why, you might ask? I asked the same thing, because I couldn't actually remember exactly why, so let me go ahead and read this, because this actually makes clear some things that weren't clear to me at all. Uh, so, remember the flyer that we found, the one that Dorothy gave to the mobster, it was in like a little canister and said take this to uh, whoever, if you need help. The flyer is written in English and Romanian. The owners of the voucher are invited to find one at Darius Petrescu's house and ask for Dorothea. Are this Dorothea and Dorothy Crane the same person? Is she the author of the blackmail letter sent to Lady Ashbury? I think I'd better go to Whitechapel as soon as possible to get all the needed answers from the nurse, if I can find her there. Yeah, so... She goes by a different name in Whitechapel. Why? Something shady is going on, absolutely. So, we are here, we need to go to Whitechapel up here. So I guess, head to the bridge and go across. Can I, like, teleport up there? Nope. Oh, shit. Out, Haven't fought humans in a while. Okay, they won't follow me down here. Good. I have four shots of my pistol. How am I doing with the shotgun? Uh, I guess I'll just throw it in there. Oh, no ammo for it. Never mind. Forget that. Okay. Just using my healing serums. Alright, gotta get rid of this gun, dude. God, there's so many of them. Holy crap. Ooh, that can that can hit groups. It's really satisfying just to smash him over and over again until you just can bite him. I think they keep trying to throw dust in my face, and they seem very, like, satisfied with themselves when they do it. I think this one said roasted alive when they did it. It's like, dude, you just threw some dust in my face. I could barely even see it. Yeah, I think uh, some crowd control would be really nice. Like that shotgun shell, that should help a lot. And as it turns out, the blood spear is also pretty good if you can get them lined up. Oh, no, shit. So, the way you reload, by the way, is by basically trying to use the gun during combat anyway. So if you're in combat, you use up all your shots, you basically try to use it again, and then that starts the reload cycle. Which you can then cancel out of if you want to stop before you've reloaded all the rounds. Um, but when you're out of battle, it just automatically loads the shells. So I right-click thinking, hey, I need to reload these shells into my pistol, but nope. Just shot them, because auto-loaded. Let's replace the pistol now. Oh, 
Oh, hold on. Nice. That is so satisfying. Oh, no. Oh, it is breakable. Hello? You know, I want to go back to trying my dual-handed thing. Let's give it a shot. Go back to trying to parry, which I'll probably miserably fail. That went pretty well, actually. I still can't get a, a handle on the parry thing. It seems like you have to parry pretty early. I can see you can see there's a bit of a lead up to it, and then in that lead up time, it seems like it doesn't parry at all. Nurses are needed now. We've already seen that. Oh, look at the. Hold on, let's go back here. Look at the ambience of this street, and the reflections and everything. And how some of the bulbs are out, and some of them aren't. Actually, let's do something that I don't think I've showed you before. This game actually, um, with the newest patch, supports NVIDIA's Ansel. So, I can do this. I wanted to take some fancy screenshots. Unfortunately, the uh, if I mess with these settings on the left here. I mean, field of view, I think, would be fine. That would show up on camera for you. But some other filter type things that are post-process effects don't show up in the recording for whatever reason. But yeah, look at that. God, look at that reflection in the water. I think I... Damn, I think I need to take a screenshot of this. Hold on. Yeah, here we go. Let's take a super resolution shot. Um, oh, yeah, you can't even see the overlay on the screen. Sorry. Um... So one of the things NVIDIA Ansel can do is it can take screenshots that are higher resolution than your monitor by basically dividing the screen into multiple parts. So you sh I think you should see this in just a sec. I'm going to take a, a roughly 10,000 by 5,000 pixel um, screenshot. So let's go. Yeah, there you go. You can see what it's doing. So it kind of just like zooms in, goes over the screen, and takes a bunch of individual pictures and stitches them together. And done. I don't know where it put that picture. I'll find it later. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm trying to parry there, by the way. Oh, shit. Oh, God. more than one hit him. Well, there I did. Wow, there goes all my blood. Damn. At least I had a spring on him. Ah, dang, if only I could destroy these. Make it illegal for anybody to sit out here. It's my new law. Reduce the plague. Stop sitting on benches outside, people. Stay inside. Oh, safe house. <gasps> no! I didn't mean to do that. I knew that would happen. I'm sorry, rat friend. I just saw an F. I'm like, oh, piece of loot. F. Yep. Um, that was actually a decent amount of blood.
The Vampire Club. <laughs> West Enders must unite. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them control you. They're, they are amongst us. They lust after your soul. Defend your community. Is this a neighborhood watch for vampires? Do you think vampires hide in the dodgy areas in the hovels of London? No. They hide in the highest clubs and fancy houses of the West End. I know for a fact that some of them rule the Empire in secret. They have a club. They have public figures. They have balls and fancy parties. They aim to control the country and our destinies. We must reveal them for what they are. Greedy enemies of mankind born into this world to bring us all into the eternal darkness of hell. You know them, but you don't dare to pronounce their names. I will, soon, and everybody in London will know the names of the Vampire Club. Clarence Crossley. For more information, please contact me directly. Yeah, I actually have a lot of XP. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so the refill all on this stash thing, I guess doesn't literally just give you ammo until you're full. It just, from your stash, will take as much ammo as you can hold. And I'm guessing the stash is probably consistent across all the areas you find. So if you put something in it here and then visit it, visit a stash in a different place, it's probably the same item. It's usually how that sort of thing works. Look at the eerie green glow of this. Uh, being able to just zoom in at something super close with NVIDIA Ansel is pretty damn nice. Let's get a fish eye. Yeah, that's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. I'm not taking a screenshot of that. Right, can we make any treatments? I can make that, I can make that, I can make that. Not that, not that. I can make that. Oh, so I can make four treatments. Cool. Light blood serum regenerates 60 blood points instantly. I definitely want to make that. Oh, I see. I can make up to two. So that doesn't, that number on the left isn't how many uses you have um, out of like one vial, but rather just you have one and you can hold two. I guess I should probably make one of every treatment, right? Just in case I meet somebody who needs it. Yeah. Seems like a good idea. Should also look into upgrading my equipment. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, I just got a bunch of abilities and I'm still gonna get a couple more passive skills. So, um, I got claws. Does 220 damage. Range is close, a close range strike that will cut through all living creatures in front of you. So what I take from that is good for crowd control if I'm being surrounded by a bunch of people. Sounds like it'll do damage to pretty much all of them, as long as they're in front of me. Would have really helped with that situation back there when I had like five humans all next to me. So I think that'll be pretty damn good. Good amount of damage too, even more than the blood spear. Yeah, same recovery time, same cost of blood. Um, I also got Blood Barrier. It'll absorb one hit, so it's basically a five second shield that absorbs up to one hit. Kind of like Quen, it sounds like, from The Witcher. And for tactical, I got Spring. Perform a supernatural move to your target and cause damage upon landing. Costs 10, recovery 10, so 10 seconds. So you can't just be using it constantly. And only does 20 damage, so that's not very much damage, but it's something. Hopefully, Hopefully you end up behind them or something, you know? If you end up in front of them, it might not be great. We'll see how that works. It's certainly not worth it for the damage, but if you can gain, like, the uh, the upper hand in terms of timing, surprise them, get behind them, something like that, could be pretty good. So I've gotten so far. Can Actually, can I get the next level? Oh, I can get the next level of autophagy. I was going to just get passives. See, with most of these... Like, I was thinking maybe I want the second level of Blood Spear, but it seems like with all these defensive and aggressive skills, the next level requires you to be... Never mind. I actually can get the next level of Blood Spear. Well, not the case with... Cl oh, wait, what? I thought these required me to be level 8. I'm so confused. Okay. Oh, wait, I am level 8 now. 
is your level determined? By how much XP you spend, I guess? I guess because I just spent so much XP, I am now level 8. I think I was level 5 before. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, in that case, um, I definitely want the next level of Autophagy. This is the self-heal thing. Heals 250 instead of 200. Otherwise, it's the same. Oh, I can't get that. I'm 20 XP short. Right, so let's get some passives. I would like more blood when biting people. And all of these are pretty cheap. Just 300 for each. 20% more blood. Um, let's get plus 5% heal when using bite. We can get two more. That costs 300. Carry more bullets. Carry more serums. Um, yeah, let's get one of each of these. It seems kind of strange to me to uh, increase the number of bullets you can carry by a percentage. It must be rounded, right? No, don't cancel. Whoa. Major district events, did something happen? Every night the consequences of your actions may improve or degrade the district health status. It can also be degraded due to diseases spreading among citizens. Okay. Health status right now is 85%. Stable. The more lives you take, the unhealthier district becomes. If it drops below the critical threshold, it will plunge into chaos. So is that for Whitechapel? Oh, that's for West End. Yeah, Pembroke's looking pretty good. Docks are okay-ish. Eh. This unknown district, which I think... Yeah, if Dorothy Crane's here, this must be Whitechapel. It's not looking great. It's almost at the critical stage, actually. Oh, I think I forgot to mention, I couldn't craft any weapon upgrades at the workbench, by the way. So I think now that it's a new day, the enemies will have respawned. Yes, they are back. That asshole with the shotgun. And I have, like, no blood. Also, by the way, how many abilities do I have? I mean, I got a bunch. Those are passives. But my active ones, do I have all of them, or do I have to, like, switch them out? Yeah, so now I've got five active skills, but only four slots, so I've got to choose exactly which ones I want. There we go. Put everything in here except for Blood Spear, since we've already used it, and I don't feel like I use it very often. So, let's try these out. Please don't hear this. Ooh, that was loud. Ah! Put an end to you! <laughs> Should I try Claw? Um, let's try Spring. I'm going to try Spring. Mm. Oh shit! Oh. God, it's so violent when they impale me like that. It really feels like Dark Souls. Like when a boss just really gets you. Okay, so I didn't love Spring. It kind of interrupted them, I guess. Like it seemed to interrupt whatever they were doing for a second, so maybe if I use it during an attack, it'll interrupt them and could be good. I mean, I've only used it once, but it didn't seem amazing. Hey, buddy, I'm not going to eat you, don't worry. So, is this just completely a dead end? Oh, it is. Let's go back to the main street. Yeah, I knew it would be a while till we can get to Whitechapel. Wait, so where do I go from here? Oh, that's a... Oh, I gotta go all the way back. 
around here. Ooh, look at how much blood I get. Three drinks and I'll be full. So hard to get the timing right. It's definitely worth it to parry. I'm just thinking about how it fits in with the flow of the game, parrying. Like, is it something I want to keep doing, or do I treat it like Dark Souls, where I say, hmm, too hard, I'll never use it again for the rest of the game. <laughs> but no, it fits a very important need, actually. Which is blood. I need blood. And I can get blood from serums to some degree, but I think most of my blood probably should come from biting people. So to do that, I need to stun them in some way. I can do that with guns. I can do that with the stake, but... It really limits me to have the stake in my second slot, and then I can't use anything else, and just kind of sucks. Uh, hold on a second. What is happening down here, Jonathan? What is this? <laughs> okay. I think the coat's been stuck up Jonathan's ass. Just got really... got a wedgie during combat, I guess. Right, so the parry serves an important need. If you get a successful parry, you can bite them right then and there. It's pretty damn good. But the timing is hard. Ooh, a big group. Let's try Claw. Oh, shit. Ooh. Ooh. That was violent. Oh, I felt good. Yeah, that, I don't know if the claw actually is an AoE. Maybe they're just not enough in front of me? What's that sound? Something's going on in there. Yeah, um... I only managed to hit one enemy each time, but it did a lot of damage. I can't teleport up there, really. What do I have for guns? Got the shotgun. Well, if I'm going to want to switch to the shotgun, which I might, I definitely don't want the used hacksaw as my main weapon. Perwin Brawler. Wait, surely I can go up there. Right? There's no door into this place. Maybe not. I did kind of go the wrong way. I need to go this way. But this really looks like a thing. Uh, it could be like a quest or something that I don't have. Yeah, nothing's going to happen there. Alright. 
Oh, wait a minute. This is the way I need to go, right? Yeah, so the reason I haven't gone there is because it's locked. How do I get to it then? Maybe I need to go back to the hospital and go via this bridge? I cannot enter. Hmm. Yeah, maybe you're just not meant to go this way. Yet. Alright. Oh, the lovely bunch of people are back here. I need blood. Skull somewhere in the distance. I think I'm getting the timing down. Trying to parry. Don't even think about it. Screaming coming from. It's like back the way I came. I'm not going there. Going back to the hospital. So yeah, an interesting thing to note about the pairing in this game versus Dark Souls is actually significantly different in terms of risk versus reward. The reward is pretty good. I mean, you stun them, uh, get opportunity to attack or or eat from them, feed from them. But in terms of risk versus reward, it's a lot more forgiving than it is in Dark Souls. Because in Dark Souls, if you try to do a parry, you like throw your shield out. And if you time it right, well, you get a successful parry, of course. But if you don't, then you just kind of throw your shield out like a doofus and you will take the hit. Assuming the enemy is attacking or attacks very near to there, you're preoccupying your character with throwing the shield out. But instead you get hit. And it does nothing, right? The, the missed parry has absolutely no effect upon the enemy whatsoever. Whereas here, if you miss, it actually does, like, take away a little bit of their, I think, stamina, and it kind of interrupts them. So it actually, like, it messes with them a little bit. So you kind of keep yourself, at least with the enemies that I'm fighting currently, from getting attacked, even if you miss. 
you're preoccupying them. So, much more forgiving. You can kind of just spam it, sort of. At least a lot more than in Dark Souls. Ooh, monsters here. Do I want to go this way? Well, I don't have to. Let's not. You're not going to attack me? Oh, okay. Fuck's sakes, get away from me. No. Shit. Okay, I like really need blood. Actually, wait, hold on. Uh, G? I forgot I have blood serums. Munch, 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 munch. Whew, that was rough. So another important thing to note, by the way, about parrying is that it looks like you have to be, um, you have to be targeted on the person you're trying to parry. So you can't, like, be selected on someone and then someone else attacks you and you press parry and you manage to press the person you don't have selected. So that makes it a bit tricky in groups. Okay, we're close, sort of. Roger the Wall. They're like a named person. Shit. Uh, hold on. Oh, I've been pressing the wrong keys. Whoops. Shit. There we go. I might have just used a bunch of random abilities. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Ooh, ooh, what are you doing? Oh, they're just blocking. Yeah, they're like a tank. They're pretty resistant. Shit! <laughs> 
was a good fight. These fights really are satisfying. They're surprisingly long. For so many... For so many mobs, like, you just move a little bit and you find another group of these people. It's surprisingly long fights. Okay, who's that talking? Locked? Up there in this silver-cut clothing place, maybe? Occupied? Yeah, I can teleport up here. Gotta be close to Whitechapel, right? So Whitechapel is just the name of this whole place, right? I guess I should probably try to find the hideout. That's locked, but maybe we can go over. It's locked. Okay. Can't go through the door, can't go up there, so... Oh, the main quest marker is actually for over here. This neighborhood is linked somehow to the kind Lady Ashbury's blackmail. First, let's find this Petrescu fellow. I remember there's supposed to be rats nearby to hideouts, right? That's what I'm looking for. Are they even alive? Yeah, they're moving. Whoa. Me, I'll not die in some piss stinking alley drinking worse than a week old lappy. Was that just a st oh, are you shot? I won't end up another drunk arsehole littering the streets. Boy. Not me. I guess that's just to scare him off. Doesn't look like anybody died here. Okay. Well, um, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. Sort of. I don't know, I was expecting it to be a while to get to Whitechapel, but dang, we're already at like over 40 minutes on this recording, and I'm not even there yet. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm gonna head on to the hideout and try to find Darius Petrescu, and also uh, Dorothy Crane.